Hello Starlets, I'm Sarah from Everyday Starlet. Welcome to my channel. We're bringing a little bit of glamour to everyday life. If you want to join my Starlet squad, be sure you hit that subscribe button. Today I want to share with you my August favorites. I don't think I have any fails. I have an iffy one, but we'll, we'll get to that. I decided to be casual today. Come on, it's August. We're relaxed. We're chilling before back to school. So I just thought, you know what? I'm gonna do this favorites video a little bit more casually. One of my most exciting things this month has been the release of my ebook, which I mentioned in my last favorites video. I talk about it all in my last favorites video and you can see details on it on my blog, but I will link it down in the description box below. It, it only has two reviews so far, but they're both five star, so. I'm so excited. It's available on Amazon. It is 101 ways you can make your life more glamorous. So please check that out. If you enjoy it, leave a review on Amazon because I'd appreciate it. So I hope you enjoy it. I'll be honest, I have not been trying a lot of new stuff this month. I've been mostly just stocking up on stuff that I've already been using and I haven't tested out too many things. I've been sent some stuff, but I haven't had a chance to do a lot of reviews yet. You know what? It's hot. It's August. I'm not wearing a lot of makeup. I didn't put this on the thing here. Where is it? This is, I'm not really reviewing my Clarisonic Mia 2 here. I'm reviewing my, the foundation brush. I have a whole review on it so you can see all the details on what I thought of it from my initial impression, but I wanted to give you guys a follow-up after using it for a month. I still really love this. I mean, I you need a Clarisonic, although I'm pretty sure it works on any Clarisonic device. If you have a Clarisonic device, the brush is pretty affordable. It feels nice. It blends really well. The only thing I will say about it is I don't like using it with like my tinted moisturizers, which I do still apply with a brush to get an even application. I still need to use my Real Techniques brushes with those. But any other like liquid foundation, I haven't tried it with like any of like a thicker foundation or like a stick or cream or anything. But I do know with my Too Faced Born This Way, it works phenomenally. My Dior Nude Air, I get so many compliments. You know the Clarisonics are expensive, so it's... It's hard for me to say that it's worth buying a whole Clarisonic device just for the brush. But if you are looking for a face brush, give Clarisonic a try. If you already have a Clarisonic device, definitely get this foundation brush because I really, really enjoy this. I've been using it. I haven't been wearing a lot of foundation because it's summer and, you know, I've been going a little bit more barefaced lately. But when I do do foundation, this is what I go for. I do still even things out with my beauty blender afterwards, but I do that with any foundation brush. That's just me. For skincare, I've been using this for quite a while. I just don't think I've ever mentioned it before. This is the Clinique Pore Refining Solutions Charcoal Mask. A lot of like charcoal masks, clay masks, those kind of things, they tend to irritate my skin and I've never had any problems with this. I think I found it on Beautypedia, which I've been kind of obsessed with their website, searching skincare ingredients and stuff. I tend to use this like once a week on my T-zone because that's where I get more of my clogged pores and stuff. And again, I'm pretty sensitive and I don't have a problem with this irritating my skin and uh, my skin feels good when I use it, so. Just wanted to throw that out there and we'll let you know in case you were looking for a pore refining charcoal mask. Another product that might be all hype, I don't know, but I use it and I like it and I wasn't using it for a while and I started using it again because I was like, I kind of miss it. This is the Dr. Brandt Cellusculpt Smoothing Cream, smooths, hydrates. This is basically like a caffeine lotion. I only use this on my abdominals. I think you can use it anywhere, but you're supposed to, it has like a massaging part to it and you're supposed to massage it into the area with the massaging part for like one to two minutes. So I feel like if you were to do a lot of different parts of your body, <laughs> that would take a while. And for me, I, my abdominals are my problem area. I do think it temporarily tightens them a little bit, whether it works long term or not, is still kind of up in the air, but I really like doing a massage, you know, in that area, and I think it feels good. I think it definitely does feel like it temporarily tightens it, so, you know what? I've been loving it. I bought this a while ago, but I just started it 10 days ago, and I just finished it today with my last day. The Glow Brilliant Personal Teeth Whitening Device. I got this a while ago when Sephora was doing, I don't remember if it was a 20% off sale or 
double cash back or something. I was wanting to try it, so I thought, why not? And I just did it, just finished today. I think my teeth look good. <laughs> I, mean, I definitely think they feel smoother, and I've noticed a difference. I use a whitening toothpaste, but I use one for sensitive teeth because I do get a lot of tooth sensitivity. I've used other teeth whitening, like strips and things like that, and they really, really irritate my sensitivity. They make my teeth much more sensitive. And I have not noticed, granted I am using a toothpaste for sensitive teeth, but I have not noticed any sensitivity with this. And I do think it definitely whitened my teeth. I've enjoyed this, so it's a favorite. It's kind of a fail, it's the thing I mentioned in the beginning. Uh, I don't wanna say it's a fail because it's not, it's not bad, but I will say I did this for the full 10 days. They say you really only have to do it for like five, but they give you enough stuff to do it for 10 so you can so i did do it for 10. it's not the most convenient product to use i do like that it kind of like you can hang the device around your neck and then you actually put if you're not familiar with how these things work they give you a lip stuff and i don't have any of the capsules here but you put on a whitening product and then you put this like mouthpiece in your mouth which is okay but it's not the most comfortable thing you're ever gonna put in your mouth I don't know. And then you kind of like turn this on, this hangs on your neck. You can do other things while you're doing it. That makes it very convenient. But here's the thing. It runs for about eight minutes and then it shuts off and then you have to do that four times. So basically you kind of like rinse off the mouthpiece, put a little bit more whitening stuff on, put the mouthpiece back in, start it up again. So like it says it takes 32 minutes because that's eight times. Four. Also, like if you're in the middle of something and it shuts off, you have to like finish up what you're doing, go rinse it out, reapply. It ends up being longer than just 32 minutes. And it kind of gets inconvenient. That to me is the only drawback of it. I, I would still use this again. So I don't want to say it's a fail because it's not. I do really enjoy it. I just I feel like there's ways that it could be more convenient and not having to like redo it every eight minutes because that gets a little, and it does take a, a big chunk of time. I really tried to work it through my schedule so that I like didn't have to talk to anybody in that time and stuff, but there were some downfalls to it. But you know what? Beauty is pain, right? But I will say my teeth have not had any problems with sensitivity and I do think they're whiter. So in my book, it's a favorite, but I do think there are a few drawbacks to it that you want to keep in mind if you are going to invest in something because it is pricey. So if you are going to invest in it, I just wanted like all that to be out there for you so you kind of knew the pros and cons. So I hope you guys enjoyed this much more casual, like my hair is even falling out. This is a much more casual favorites video. Hopefully next month we'll be back to the glam. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did and you found it helpful, please give it a big thumbs up. I wanna know what you have been loving or hating this month, so let me know. Leave that in the comment section below. If you have any videos that you would like to see, things you'd like me to review or anything, let me know. Leave those suggestions in the comments below. You guys, I always find your suggestions helpful. A while back, I was suffering from anxiety and depression, and I truly believe that beauty and makeup and health and fitness and fashion and style saved my life. And I believe it can save yours too. So if you want to join my Starlet Squad, be sure you hit that subscribe button. You can follow me on all my social media channels. The links follow me in the description box below, along with links to all these products. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you join me next time.